The next question I have for you is, um, you know, PMC um, at last year, they were really, really famous. Um, you know, they became really famous for their screw ups. Um, you yeah. know, uh, they uh, they they had out of syllabus questions. Students they picked one answer and they couldn't change the uh, answer. They couldn't change it. Yeah, yeah. What they picked first became the answer, and the answer they changed it to was not considered correct. And I know there there were a lot of issues. Did you face this issue? And if so, how did you sort of manage this issue? How did you tackle it? So, uh, because the examination started in September, this again, uh, people say it's rumor, and PMC again, again and again posted notification that it's not true. However, if obviously a lot, of thousands upon thousands of students are saying something, it has a reason behind it. So, uh, I to be careful. So the issues were the issues were that of course everything was done online on a tablet. The NMD CAT examination. So whenever you selected one answer, and let's say you wanted to change it on that, you could change it because you had just tapped the button. Uh, so when you tapped it and you went on to the next question, it would not register in the server system of the uh, TEPS, which was affiliated to PMC for this examination. Uh, that was one issue. The other issue was that if you skipped a question and you came back to it and you did solve it uh, then and there, uh, it would not register again. And uh, some people also said that if you did not wait for a certain amount of time after finishing your exam, and if you immediately click, immediately clicked submit, it would not register. So a lot of these issues were there and a lot of these rumors were going around. Now, again, it might be true, it might not be. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. So to be more uh, safe on my part, I, what I did was that I was trying to make myself so confident in my studies that I finished uh, everything and I've done everything to the best of my ability. And on exam day, uh, when I got the tablet and I started to solve the questions, I would just solve that one question once. Uh, even I might spend a few extra seconds on it, but I would I would ensure that I was 100% uh, sure that this was the answer. I would select it and then go on to the next question and that's it. I would not look at the previous question whatsoever. I've done the questions, gone, Aage baru. that was my tactic and Alhamdulillah uh, that went through and uh, after like finishing my exam, I waited for like uh, 10 minutes. So because the 3.5 hours were present for the examination, I sat during those entire 3.5 hours, even though I finished a uh, half an hour or 20 minutes early, I sat to the very end and then submitted my paper, uh, well, tablet and uh, its answers so that it would register in case the rumors were true. And that's how I was safe from all the uh, paranoia. <laughs> okay, so like, just pick one answer and move on. That you you shouldn't you shouldn't you shouldn't second guess yourself, and you should be that confident in your studies and your question solving ability. Okay, you take one answer and you move on. Don't skip anything. Like just to be safe, because you never know, right? Yes, actually, Part this okay. is Pakistan. Anything can happen. Pakistan, like if you watch our <laughs> NDE vlog. Uh, they told me I, I failed and I passed and they sent me three, four emails saying I passed and failed. At the end, Alhamdulillah, I passed, but you know, it's just like, I was like, okay, it's PMC.